In this video, we'll be talking about how to assemble materials for environmental sampling of viral pathogens. You will need the following supplies for this video. Plastic storage bags that are gallon size, four by four inch cotton gauze, pre-moistening solution of choice, and for this video, we'll be using phosphate buffered solution or PBS, paint roller covers, a permit marker if you'd like to designate when sample materials are made, 50 milliliter conical tubes, nitrile or latex disposable gloves, and disinfectant of choice. For this video, we'll be utilizing Clorox wipes for our disinfectant. First, we'll talk about how to prepare cotton gauze environmental samples. Once disinfectant of choice has been applied to the work area and you've put on a new pair of gloves, you'll open one 50 milliliter conical tube, and then you will take one cotton gauze and roll it so that it can be placed vertically within the 50 milliliter conical tube. Once one cotton gauze has been placed within the conical tube, you will utilize another conical tube to measure out five milliliters of pre-moistening solution. In this example, we have chosen to use PBS. So once that amount is measured out, you will pour that into the conical tube containing the cotton gauze. And once that amount is poured in there, you will close the conical tube and agitate it so that liquid can be absorbed by the entirety of the cotton gauze. Once it is done, you're ready to environmental sample. Next, we'll talk about how to prepare paint roller cover environmental samples. So once disinfectant of choice has been applied to the work area and allowed to dry, you're going to put on a new pair of gloves and take a single paint roller cover and place it into one gallon sized plastic storage bag. Next, we're going to measure 100 milliliters of pre-moistening solution. In this case, we have used PBS, and so we're going to utilize the conical tubes that we have already to measure out that 100 milliliter amount. So there we have 50 milliliters of PBS, and we're going to pour it into the plastic bag. And then we're going to use the conical tube again to measure out another 50 milliliters of PBS. Once um, that second 50 milliliter amount has been measured, you will pour that second amount in there so that there is in total 100 milliliters of PBS. Once all that liquid has been poured into the plastic storage bag, you will seal the plastic storage bag and then you will shake or agitate or move the bag around so that all that liquid can distribute across that paint roller cover and not be sitting within that plastic bag. But once all that liquid is um, dispersed through the paint roller cover, that paint roller cover is ready to use.